Have you ever wanted to get acute radiation poisoning? I'll end you! Be forced to use old shoddy Warsaw packed guns that don't work half the time, watch horrific mutant you shank you in a dark alleyway, and of course, most importantly, consuming copious amounts of vodka, getting ripped off by Slavic businessmen, run into anomalies that cause instant extreme organ failure, or my favorite, hearing a Slavic man screaming cheeky breaky before he puts a 20 gauge shotgun shell through my head. If so, well then, welcome to Stalker Anomaly. Now, I know what you're thinking. Stalker, isn't that the game filled with bugs and a horribly unstable game engine? Yes, you would be right, but that's also why we're here. <sighs> If you've ever seen any Stalker gameplay and thought, what the hell is this? Well, what's even going on? This terrible guide's for you, and by the end, you will want your very own Trabant, because who wouldn't want a glass fiber death machine wherein the crumble zone is the whole car? This is also not a Stalker game, it's a mod called Anomaly, which combines all Stalker games into one and it's free. I just wanna be pure. Ah, the rotting, mutilated corpse of communism lives on. Stalker is a video game series that's been around since the ancient times of 2007 and is set in the fantastical and utterly fictitious land of Eastern Europe. You are a stalker. Not that kind, more like the murder hobo kind. Stalker starts out with you waking up in a random babushka's house not knowing who you are, where you are, or how you got there. First thing any proper Eastern European man does in this scenario is check his Adidas backpack. Not for food or a map or anything like that, no. He's looking for vodka. And thank god we've got some crisis averted. You then leave the little queen village and head onto the road. Ten meters later you get mauled and killed by mutant cats and a Ukrainian Pumba. Welcome to the zone, comrade. Stalker takes place in the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, or simply called The Zone, home to a bunch of different baddies, <laughs> space and time breaking anomalies, what the fuck is this piece of shit, and horrific mutated things. <laughs> Why the fuck would anyone willingly sneak past the shoot first, ask questions later, military perimeter surrounding the zone? For adventure, Freedom and, most importantly, getting those sweet, sweet Soviet rubles. Now I know what you're thinking, Soviet rubles? What the hell? The zone's in Ukraine. Why aren't we using the Ukrainian Hevarina? 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 I'll have you know, the Soviet economy is clearly superior to the capitalist dogs in the West, and the currency will clearly show that. I don't feel so good. <clears throat> Stalker exudes a strong scent of Eastern Europeanism. Everything is broken, corrupt, everyone has an aching, and the weather's fucking horrible. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the last 44 years, you should know what an Eastern Europe is. But in case you don't, I'll do a quick rundown of all you need to know about Eastern Europe to truly enjoy Stalker. Rampant alcoholism, systemic corruption, and lastly, being invaded by the Russians. Almost all Eastern European countries share these common traits. Except for the ex-Yugoslav nations, they only do two things, war crimes and making songs about how they want to commit war crimes. The Czechs are known for drinking beer, pornography, and they got invaded by the Russians. Hungary, racism, they got invaded by the Russians. Romania, stealing, they got invaded by the Russians. Bulgaria, yo yogurt, what, uh, oh, and they got invaded by the Russians. Poland, femboys, and getting invaded by the Russians, and their new friend, the Germans. This can't possibly backfire. Georgia, birthplace of wine, and you guessed it, it got invaded by the Russians. Baltic countries, got invaded by the Russians, and Ukraine, who's in real time being invaded by the Russians. Man, Russia really does take being a bad neighbor to the next level. Yes. 
Returning to the zone, Stalker is all about the grind. You typically start out with a Makarov pistol, the Soviet pea shooter, and you have to acquire better gear through killing, shifting through the rotting corpses for good loot. Wow. You see, you aren't some knight in shining armor here to purge the zone of its filth. No, no, you are the filth. Nothing brings greater joy to a Stalker player than placing a well-aimed AK shot into a man's spine, instantly paralyzing him, then placing another into his left lung to cause the newly paralyzed man to choke on his own blood. While he's on the ground screaming and writhing, you search all his pockets and backpack for good loot. And what's that, a syringe? Wow, could be a stem pack or black tar heroin. You don't really know. All you know is it makes all the boo-boos go away. Now this stem pack could save the man's life, and just when he actually thinks he's going to see his family again, he put a bullet in his head. Stalker is a very hard game on the right oh, difficulty. No. All others are really bad, don't use them. If an enemy gets to drop on you, you're dead. If you run into a mutant pack of dogs, hi doggy, you're dead. Caught outside during a radiation hellstorm called a mission, you're dead. Around the zone are anomalies. They look like this and will typically instantly kill you. Some look like Satan's asshole. Others will force 10,000 amps through your body, instantly cooking you like a medium rare steak. Pretty neat. You can throw a bolt at it to trigger the anomaly if you're unsure of where it is. But they are pretty obvious, so don't be an idiot like me and run directly into one. <laughs> Damage is brutally unforgiving. Individual body parts can be damaged and become useless. Legs gets broken. Guess what? You ain't walking nowhere. Get hit in the head. You're gonna go blind for a few seconds. Arm gets torn in half. Fast as fuck, boy. You're gonna drop your gun, and while you're scrambling on the ground trying to find your gun, that bloodsucker's friend is going to clap your cheeks. See you. My gun! There's two of them! This is your overall health. If this goes to zero, you die. Bandages are used to stop bleeding, medkits for recovering overall health. Some items provide yellow temporary health, others permanent white health. Most people take one to three shots with a good gun to kill, including yourself. But that also extends to the enemy. If you get the drop on them, you can easily tear them a new asshole. Stalker is sometimes also called a survival horror game, and the survival aspect consists of you ramming a whole can of Heinz baked beans down your throat and washing it down with a whole bottle of vodka while being shot at. The horror consists of a post-Soviet depression fogging your mind, all the while spooky mutants make noise in the decrepit slums of Eastern Europe. So if you're outside in the woods and hear a spooky sound, I would ignore it since monsters aren't real. Ignoring sounds is a critical mistake. While most of the game revolves around you fighting the worst things on Earth, humans, sometimes you face some true nightmare-inducing mutants. These are rare, but the further you go into the game, the more you will encounter them. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Many can often only be noticed by the noises they make. So, be careful and awake. If you hear some sort of grunt, you might want to look behind you. But I'm dummy thick. When if suddenly your screen gets covered in piss, that means there's a psychic mutant near you. Might get lucky it's just a psychic zombie, or it's something much worse. Oh, hell no, man. <laughs> that was a control, and well, he clearly fucks. So much so his victims blow their own brains out. Second time to charm, you run away like the brave hero you are, and the last moment of courage, you turn around and get ready. When that motherfucker turns the corner, he's going to get a brain full of land. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> and just when your heart begins to calm down from the roller coaster ride, the game throws you into another horrible situation. No! No, no, no! 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 What is this? What is this? <laughs> 
Ah, stalker, you cruel mistress, never change. Now, when starting a new game, you pick up starting faction. These include those who love this zone and want to study it, also called fucking nerds, those who wish to contain and destroy it, the rightful choice, and find those who see it as the world's biggest money printer. Some of these factions are also at war with each other, and others indulge in homoerotic relations with each other. Then there's monolith. Nobody likes monolith. I recommend loners to start with since they are friendly with most factions. Loners start in Rookie Village in Corden, the newbie zone. Immediately head down to Sidorovich and get a quest. Head out of town to complete the quest, avoid the horrible anomalies, kill stuff, go back to Sidorovich, get money for quest, notice you need ammo, spend newly acquired money on ammo, you are now poor. Get new quest, go complete the next quest, get mauled and killed, reload, save, kill bandits, take damage, use medkit, go to Sidorovich, buy ammo, new medkit, now poor again, get quest, go kill, instead get shot, reload, save, gun jam, die, reload, bleed to death, kill bandits, go to Sidorovich, Get money now, poor quest, money, die, reload, storage, money, spend money, poor again. And that is basically the gameplay cycle for the start of the game. But please don't spend more money than you need to a Zdorovich's place. He's got some of the worst prices in the game. But he is the best character in the game. Fuck you, hip gang. I ain't no simp. The zone is split into several areas that are interconnected and range from, whoa, this is pretty neat, to, well, nightmare material. Generally, the south is easy, and the further north you go, the harder it becomes. Kind of like the UK. In Stalker, you are forced to actually use your brain and think forward. Oh, I, I know it does hurt my brain, but being in the middle of the red forest at the dead of night with dead night vision goggles and no batteries to power them is the stuff of nightmares. Ah, we're wizard, I'm the wizard! You have to prepare for anything anti-radiation medicine, side block for any controllers you might make, have enough ammo and of course vodka and cigarettes for lowering radiation. Why does vodka and cigarettes lower radiation? Well, Tavorish, wouldn't you like to know? Well, there you have it. Now you're prepared for anything this zone has to throw at you, except for the stuff I didn't cover like chimeras, pseudogiants, monolith, the brain scorch, astralog, all the horrible underground human experimental lamps, you know, small non-important things. 